So hi, welcome to Good Noise Podcast. We're here with Naked Alien. We're going to ask him some questions today. I'm going to start. What inspired you guys to start the band, and what does the band name mean? Uh, so, do you want me to do it? Oh uh, yeah, I'll take this one. Um, before me, guitarist came up with the name, and was like, "Hey, it's." A thing, bands don't normally have a name for a while. This happened with my other band. So it's like, hey, there's a good bass. We started out with a good name. And I'm pretty sure the band started because we just wanted to have fun with friends, wanted like a musical outlet. Okay. I respect it, yeah. Ah, sick. So what would you guys say your writing process is like? Uh, Jay, you know more about that than me. Yeah, um, so I do, me and Eli, our guitarist, do, we split half and half with the songwriting, and our vocalist, Charlie, does all the lyrics writing, and he's great, because he can just ad-lib lyrics directly on the spot, and so I'll record a demo, send it to the group, see if they like it, see if they have any changes then we'll run it during practice or something and same thing goes with eli he'll send demos we normally like them because he's excellent at that stuff Mm -hmm. and that's pretty much how our song songwriting process goes yeah very cool Ryan! How do you feel about the reception to your music? Is it not working? Say it Wait, again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hold on. No, we were good. Ah, oh. oh, L. Hi, welcome back, Ryan. So, uh, how do you guys feel about the reception to your music so far? Um, I feel like it's been better than we expected. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, when when they when we started the band, we weren't really expecting it to go anywhere beyond putting half half-assed ideas on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's been it's been great. People people seem to like our stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy for you guys. Um, yeah. Since we're all stuck inside, uh, what bands have you guys been listening to lately to pass that time? (laughs) Um, so, about six or seven weeks ago, uh, I discovered an artist called Hekra, and I've been listening to him 24-7, and I can't- (laughs) I'll talk about him all the time in the group chat, and they get annoyed at me. (laughs) How How about you, Jay? I also like Hekra. I've been listening a lot to Khaki Cuffs okay. first and only LP. I've been listening to Somewhere City a lot by Origami Angel. And just a lot of like old random CDs records that I've found around the house just because. Yeah. Sick. You have very good taste. Yes. Cause... We love Origami <laughs> Angel yeah. here. Mm-hmm. You do. We do. Yep. So, what bands would you say are your biggest inspirations while making music? There's a lot. We've got a lot of different ideas going around right now. Eli really got into Pink Floyd like two weeks ago. He's he sent us like this demo that has this really cool guitar tone that reminds me of Pink Floyd. Um, we've got mostly those punk bands, you know. Uh, there's some death metal influences in okay. <laughs> some of our stuff. Nice. Um, <laughs> we get we got a lot of inspiration from the chats, the band. I feel yeah, and like mm-hmm. Pelican Poopy and some of the unreleased stuff that'll be on the EP, EPs. Yeah. Um, and we we've, we've been experimenting with some other stuff yeah uh, all right. mm-hmm. 
So is my mic working again? Are yep. we all good? Yeah, you're back. Yeah. All right. Thank God. Yep. All right. <laughs> all right. So are you guys working on any new projects while we're like, cause we're all stuck at home that you can tell us yes. about? Uh, <laughs> can we? Uh, yeah, can, can uh, I think, you? I think we'll leave it, but I mean, yeah. we're, I'll just say that we're still songwriting. Mm -hmm. all okay. Right. All right. Well, very Side cryptic. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are songwriting. We are, we are in fact still, we are still songwriting. As musicians, we are. We playing are instruments. Yeah, no. As musicians, we are still writing music. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yep. Good to hear. Um. So when you're performing live, what are your top three songs to perform live? We've performed live once. Okay. So what um, are your top three songs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I. Uh. Well, me. Uh, I'll pull my list. Uh, we've yeah. there's two demos that we've had for a month or two mm -hmm. two months or something. Yeah. I uh, call there's Jay and Eli and Puck. Those aren't the final names, but those are mm -hmm. sort of longer three minute songs mm -hmm. that are a lot of fun. Uh, and the third one, there's another one called Jimmy Fuck Chicken. That's really good. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. an interesting name. We played that. We played that on. We played that at Flea Fest, I think. Yeah, I saw. I saw your set. I saw your set. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Jay? Um, I'd say also I love playing Puck. I love playing Jay and Eli. Um, I'd probably say I love. I also really like Jimmy Fuck Chicken. I. That's good. My favorite song, other than those two that you mentioned before, is probably Summer Course Horse. That's. Alright. Sick. Alright. Very cool. So, where do you guys see the project uh, in the next five years? Hopefully, releasing new music and playing shows. Mm -hmm. That'd be very good. Yeah. yeah if, uh, mm -hmm. if quarantine allows that to, to happen. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, imagine. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. We've got two or three projects in the works at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, Can you cool. tell us anything, um, like, literally anything about it? <laughs> uh, well, we've got um, we've got our first EP that we will be record recording. It's a bunch of shorter, faster stuff, mm -hmm. and we've got another one that's just going to be us trying to find the weirdest noises and experiment the most okay. mm -hmm. yep. possible. <laughs> Um, and the other one has got more of our longer stuff on it, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Summer Course, Ryan Rose, those stuff, that stuff. Okay. Sick. That's yeah. exciting. Very yeah. exciting. All right. So for these last three questions, we're, we like to go away from music and just have like a couple of fun ones. So okay. let's go to death row for a second. Uh, Very fun. <laughs> yeah. It's extremely fun. So what would your last meal be on death row? And why? And please to the drink. The please always gets me. <laughs> please. I was just talking about this with someone the other day. Oh my Am god. Am I not supposed um, to say please, Shane? What? No. Please. <laughs> I demand that you give us an answer. Now. Right um, now. No. No. You have ten go. seconds for you ten seconds. Or the call. Ah. <laughs> uh. Maybe just my Taco Bell order or something. That is what so is that? <laughs> my Taco Bell order? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, two Nacho Bell Grandes, no tomatoes, extra cheese, and the Baja Blast. Bro, what do you have against tomatoes? Tomatoes? I hate them. Up. I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are so gross. Tomatoes are Wait, Ari. I'm hurt, but it's okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's, okay. it's okay. You hate tomatoes. Yeah, I do. It's something with the flea collar bands. They all love Taco Bell, man. Every single yeah. one we've interviewed was like, yo, Taco, Taco Bell. Taco Bell is good. Yeah. I love Taco Bell. Flea They're just smart, okay? Yeah. What's your death row like order, Jay? My, my death row meal would be McDonald's ice cream, because I'd never get it. Right. Wow. Just one ice cream? It's like... Yeah, yeah. Do you have a drink? The, the ice cream... <laughs> You will never find an ice cream machine at McDonald's that's working. 
That is true. Uh, but is there no drink? <laughs> Just the ice cream? The ice cream is the drink, bro. No drink. The ice cream is the drink. Duh. One normal ice cream and one melted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you I'll could... get I'll get ice cream and I'll wait for it to melt and that's when yeah. that's when I'll eat. That's I'll wait, are you are you are you joking? You wait for your ice cream to melt before you eat it? <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Oh, okay. oh I'm so scared. Oh, <laughs> my God. heart. My heart. My heart. Like it was falling. Um, <laughs> so if you could live in one fictional world for a week, where would you live? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's hard. That's really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thinking it out. Mm -hmm. I'd say Star Wars right now, but I can't think of like. It, I'll I'll probably think of something after we're done recording. Like, Star Wars would be cool. Oh, that's what I should have said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, would you be a Jedi or a Sith? Sith. Sith. Lightning. Solid. Everyone just wants to rule the world. I swear. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> Siths are cooler, anyways. Like, you get the red lightsaber. That that alone yeah. makes me, you know? Like, come on. Yeah, mm -hmm. but doesn't one of the good guys have a purple lightsaber? That is the dream. Yeah, that that's is not the, the dream. One. Mace Windu. It's the coolest one. Mace exactly. Windu's purple lightsaber. Uh, have you guys ever seen the show uh, The Midnight Gospel on Netflix? I have not. Well, oh. Um, it's a very cool, it's a very trippy show, and I feel like I'd be like to be in that universe for a week or something. Okay. Pretty cool. Solid. Never heard that answer, so that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I might have to check it out now. Um, so I have the honor of asking the last question, and a bunch of people have said it's the most important question. What is your okay. favorite color? Purple. Yeah, purple. Yes! Purple. Nice. Okay. Oh purple. my god. Taste. Yeah, cool. Taste all around. Um, so as Glory said, that is all the questions we have today. Is there anything you would like to plug? Um, yeah, go follow us on all streaming services. Go follow us Instagram, Twitter. Uh, yeah. Go listen, go follow Fopoons on Instagram also. Go listen to Plague Skater and Wasted Space. We love them. Yep. And I'm mm -hmm. just going to throw Cheers Pricks in there too. Yep. Cheers, Pricks. If we're yes. plugging bands. I love Will and Wes. They are amazing. Yes. They are. They yep. Are. Also, Pelican Party, go listen to them. All right. Pelican Poopy, right? Pelican Poopy. Oh, wait, Pelican wait, wait, wait. Wait, I have one more question. What's up with that? I was listening to your, your discography. I Why got... do you have... <laughs> What's up with that? Pelican Poopy? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the story behind it is that we hate pelican party we uh -huh. hate them despise them mm -hmm. uh they wrote a diss track about us you can find on their uh, on their band camp it's called you it's called you suck and we hate you and so we're oh. like okay okay and then we wrote pelican poopy and that was our oh. first pelican poopy fun fact about that there was no demo for pelican poopy we just recorded it and then put it up. Oh my god. Um, so it's just raw emotion. Yeah. Just in that just one. Yeah, raw yeah. Raw hatred for Pelican we're, Party. We were feeling <laughs> a lot at that time. Yeah. We were feeling a lot about Pelican Party. Right. I would like to run <laughs> over them with my car. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. That's all, yeah. say, that's oh, all I'll say about that. Okay. In a video that's, game. In a video that's game. valid. You know? No, in real life. I, yeah. I, oh. I hate them. <laughs> in real life. And then you'll also, record it. Post that on Instagram yeah, and Twitter. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Make it a fan cam. Hell no, yeah. Throw a fake <laughs> joke cat under it. You know, just go all out, man. It's good. Um, it's good. Yeah, we can make make a Spotify profile and record the sounds, and that's our only sound. <laughs> oh my God. We hate Pelican Party. It's mm. just the sound of us running up, running them over. That's sound of the song. bones crunching. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So thank you for sitting down with us, guys. This has been Naked Alien, and we're the Good Noise Podcast. Nope.